Okay, I quickly wanted to show you where to find your SEO page title settings in Wix. You want to first go into your editor uh, and then you want to click on your page drop down here. This is going to have this little three dotted circle. When you click on this, this is going to expose all your options for this particular page. And this is on all of these pages, so you can use any of these pages and, and make adjustments to this. So what we want to look for is the page SEO. So click on that. And now you're going to see this get found on Google um, bar that you can walk through and add in your page titles and so forth. Uh, so here's your page title. This is the most important one. Name it with keywords that you want to be found for. Uh, in my case, Denver Web Design. I, if people are in Denver and want a web designer, I want them to find me. So that's why I have this. I also have a few other keywords here that help. Um, and keep this somewhat short, but try to include keywords, locations, uh, your services, just the best keywords that describe your business for what you want to be found for and what this page is specifically about. Each page title on every page should be unique and unique to what's on that page. The second thing is your page description. This is what's going to show up in Google and, and Wix actually even has a very handy thing here that shows you a preview on Google so you can kind of see what how this looks when it's in the actual Google search results. I love this feature because I can see okay this is my page title I have here and then I have my domain and I have my description. I love being able to see that. Make sure to scroll down because there's a couple other things hidden down here. Um, your page URL, this is what you want to name also with keywords if you can. Um, in this case it's my home page so I don't need to worry about that but on any sub pages I might name it Wix-Design or Wix-Designer and so forth. So name it, this, this is the URL that shows up in the top of the screen, basically this green area here, that's your URL. So this would be picklewix.com slash Wix-Design if I named that here. Um, and the last thing are keywords. This is optional. Google used to use these as a reference, but because people so much abused and spammed them over the years, they don't really look at these anymore, but it can't hurt. I always just say add one or two, you know, key phrases. Don't over pad this because Google does not like that. So keep it simple and keep it related to what's on the site, what's in your description and your page title. And then once you're done with that, hit done. This again goes on any page. So any page I want to look at, I want to go to the page SEO and name all these pages accordingly. So make sure to do these all uniquely and then Google will find you a lot easier uh, than if you didn't have these set up. These also show up on Facebook and other social media avenues. Um, so naming your pages is really critical and you must do it in order to do well in search engines and for people to have good bookmarks and all that for your website. So good luck. Visit picklewix.com for more tips and uh, thanks for watching.